Okay, today I'm going to show you how to uh, clean up and speed up your computer. And the first ways of doing that would be to clean up your desktop. And uh, the first things we can check, shortcuts don't really take up space uh, that much. So those aren't too much of a concern unless you have a lot of those. Um, let's check folders. So we'll left click, say, on this folder right here and see what the size is. Uh, I left clicked and then I right clicked, went down to properties. And then in the general tab, you look at size. It shows 1.32 gigabytes, and that's really, really large because uh, it takes a thousand megabytes to make a gigabyte. So we're at 1,032 uh, megabytes. So we want to move this to a place where it's not taking up the active memory that is your desktop. So uh, that would be my, my documents. I have a shortcut right here for it. If you would like a shortcut on your desktop, a quick and easy way of doing it would be go to the Start menu. See how we have the My Documents there? You could left click on it and drag it off, or you could right click on it and then go Show on Desktop, and then it would uh, make a shortcut on your desktop. So then now, now that we're in My, my Documents, I'm going to create a desktop folder here so then I can put all of my desktop items into a folder uh, and keep it in my, my documents. So I'm going to go right click, new, folder, label it de desktop, and then, um, oh, I've already, I have already have one in here, because uh, I was messing with this earlier. So, uh, and then what I would do is after it's created, I'm going to right click on it, go send to desktop, which you see it says create shortcut. Uh, and that way, the, desk, uh, the shortcut to my desktop is right here. So I'm closing my documents. Now I have this folder. I'm going to double click on it. Now I'm in the desktop folder uh, that is in my, my documents. So I'm going to leave this open. And I'm just going to drag in the items off my desktop. So right now it's copying over D stuff over into my, my documents, the desktop folder. And then I would just go through and start looking at each folder. So I right clicked again, 8 megs, and then uh, thus forth, and just keep going through. And a lot of the stuff that, if it's just not needed, and uh, you know, like say images or something that you don't need right on your desktop, and uh, you, you, know, you could access it quickly through the shortcut, then just drag it over. You don't want anything really lagging up your computer. So uh, in this case, I'm just like that okay so basically after you're done cleaning off the majority of the items uh, and you you went through and you checked all your folders made sure you didn't really have any major weight sitting on your desktop uh, the next step is going to be MS config and uh, we're going to go to start uh, go to the run dialog box uh, or another way of doing that would be hitting the window key plus R and then type MS config and that will pull up the system utility we'll go to the startup tab and then inside of here uh, we're going to need let's pull up uh, Internet Explorer uh, kind of minimize it here get these kind of side by side and we're going to look up these items now what the startup tab is showing you is items that partially start up when your computer turns on or uh, programs that turn on that are essential. So uh, let, me, let me give you an idea here. Um, this AVG tray, that's for my antivirus. Uh, I've already looked that up before and I already knew because you know I use AVG which is a great free antivirus. Um, that I want to keep uh, turning on when my computer boots up. Uh, absolutely. Impulse Now is uh, the Stardock. Uh, it's for uh, the Fences program that I have a tutorial for uh, in a different video. Um, so I want that to, to, to start up because that organizes my, my desktop. Um, and then uh, QuickTime. I really don't need that, but I, this is one of the kind of programs that for some reason, even if you turn it off, it just keeps popping back on. But it's not a very large program, so uh, either way. Um, but if we want to, let's, as you can see, I already have quite a bit disabled. All these items were starting up, and that takes up quite a bit of memory when, when you start looking at the amount of numbers of programs uh, that are partially starting up. Uh, in this case, like uh, this Adobe Reader, 
was opening in the background. It wasn't a very large program, but it was taking up enough memory that if you coupled that with you know, the Adobe uh, CS4 Service Manager, and then you had my uh, auto run um, for my printer, and then let's see what other ones. This is for my, my color laser printer, and then you know the Google search engine box. All this stuff is just a lot of things that are just not needed. So what I did to find out what this one, I know this one pulls up. Let's go reader underscore sl uh, .exe. Ah, Prospects Library. This is one of my favorites. Uh, they're really good about being direct in the description of it. See, it says reader underscore sl uh, is a process associated with Adobe Reader. It is used to decrease the load time for the reader when a PDF document is selected. Uh, and then they tell you the recommendation of if it's, you know, if you can turn it off or not. And it says not a critical component, but see the information above before disabling it. So they're just telling you, you know, if it, you want your PDFs to open a little bit faster when your computer initially starts up, you might want to leave this on. So uh, this is a good resource to process library. Now, I believe uh, the other one I was speaking of is probably just right down here. There we are. Uh, uh, you can see right there. So if we click on this one, this is the other side that I'm, I'm making reference to, uh, is a process associated with Adobe Reader. See, they do the kind of same thing, and the recommendation is roughly the same. It's not a critical component. Um, and there you go. And then they reference uh, a free performance. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, check each one. Uh, if you're unsure, uh, as even maybe you, you, you pull it up and the definition doesn't uh, explain it that much, and if, if you just can't be 100% certain, I wouldn't disable it just to make yourself feel a little bit safer. I mean, if you disable a good amount and you, you know, hit apply, restart your computer, and you see it runs a lot faster, then if you have a couple programs on there that you're just not too sure about, no big deal. Okay, so we're going to go off to the services tab, hit hide all Microsoft services because you don't want to disable any Microsoft service. Uh, that could dramatically affect your PC. Okay, and then in here, what we're going to do is the same exact thing. Um, just look up these services and see if uh, certain ones are, are needed or not. Like the iPod service, I don't even have an iPod. I don't really use anything associated to that. Um, so uh, I, I knew immediately I didn't need it. And then uh, the Apple... Uh, mobile device, I, I checked that up. Uh, it turns out I didn't need it. The Bonjour service also, uh, but you know th these might w be something that you need. So the best thing to do would be you know go in uh, and Google it and then find out what people are saying about it, what if it's important or not, and then you know best thing to do is like as I just typed in here to kind of uh, narrow it down. Let's go to services and then just read through and that kind of thing. Just get used to searching up items and, and, and finding out what uh, they're used for. Anyways, once that's all done and you've reduced the amount of services and the amount of startups, this will this is one of the dramatic changes in a, in a system that can make it greatly speed up. So then after you're done, you're gonna hit apply, uh, close, and then just restart your computer because that's going to make all those changes kick into effect because a lot of those programs are currently running in your system and need to be shut down and you'll set that. Now off to uh, cleaning up the system. Okay, in these ones, because uh, this video is starting to run kind of long, I'm going to just explain to you and I'm going I'm to list the links over and what is that, the left or the right, uh, you know, and the more information of this video. Uh, Spybot uh, is an essential program to get rid of uh, spyware, uh, malware by antibytes. Um, that's good to get rid of malware, uh, adware, removing adware, and then C Cleaner is good for cleaning up, uh, you know, temp files, temporary internet files, just a good overall system cleaner, getting rid of unneeded files. Um, so. Those all four coupled together are going to really dig down deep and get rid of all those junk files that the internet seems to just plague us with that, you know, suck up so many uh, just resources as you're trying to use the web or uh, just use your system in general. So another essential thing would be um, a good antivirus and a good firewall. 
Um, if you already have like Norton or something like that and you're paying for it and you like it, great, stick with it. If you don't really have something or maybe you're not happy with what you have, check out Zone Alarm uh, as 